Hello, my babies. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're doing lines and angles. You may remember doing this. I hope you do. But anyway, um, if you don't, you'll remember now. Okay, so our key ideas. Now, make a note of this, please, because you need to know this. Complementary angles, okay, add up to 90 degrees. So if they complement each other, they add up to 90 degrees. So try and think of um, complementary, that's when something nice happens and you get 90 bucks. I don't know. Think of something that you can remember it, okay? Write this down. Pause me and write it down. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, you know 180 degrees is a straight line. Think about people that can do the splits. They are very supple, so supplementary. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, and complementary, 90. Okay? Now, if you have angles all the way around one point, 360 degrees. You can't get more than that. That's a full circle. Okay? Need to know that too. Now, vertically opposite angles are equal. So, I'll show you an example. Here, where's one? Okay, so if you can you see that round bit there, okay, that angle on this side directly opposite it so that they're facing each other, nose to nose, if you know what I mean, those two will be the same, the same angle. They are equal. Very important, okay? So remember, vertically opposite, they're directly opposite each other, they will be equal, okay? When parallel lines are crossed by a transversal. Now, can you see that's a parallel line there and that's a parallel line there, okay? Those two lines are parallel to each other. And this going down here is the transversal. It's cutting it across, okay? A number of angles are formed, right? Alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. They're both inside the line, the, the parallel lines. Can you see that? One's tucked under there on the right of the line and one's tucked over there on the left of the line, okay? They are equal, all right? So imagine you've got a bridge where two um, beggars are sleeping the night. One sleeps in this corner, one sleeps in that corner inside the bridge. They're both equal. No one's richer than the other one. They alternate, meaning one's on the left, one's on the right, but they are equal, okay? Remember that one corresponding so here you've got your two lines they've got them on the same side of the freeway both of them on the same side They're almost like twins they're both underneath the line they're both on the right both underneath the line both on the right and they've got two r's like twins so therefore they're the same okay equal exactly the same now you get co-interior angles so here you've got the, the two parallel lines. You've got one hooked and on the same side, hooked over here, and you've got one here. Now they are supplementary, okay? So they are going to equal 180 degrees. So they're going to be different. But if you know that that one's 80, you will know that that one's 100. Okay, so they equal 180 degrees. They are supplementary. They're supple. Okay, they equal 180 degrees. They're both on the same side, but can you see the angles are different? You can actually look and just see the angles are different. But together, they will equal 180 degrees. Okay, so those are the main ideas I want to teach you. So this is a first example. Find the size of the unknown angle. Now, we know that if we just went all the way around like that, it would give us 180 degrees. So what we do is we take our 51, we take our 23, we add them together, we take it away from 180, and whatever's left is what angle A is. So if we do that on our calculator, let me just get mine out. Oh, somebody loves me. Uh, my beautiful calculator. So we're going to go 51 plus 23. So we go 51, oh, let's put the calculator on, 51 plus plus 23, is it 23, yes, equals 74, and then we go 180 degrees minus 74, and let's do that, 180 gives us 106. So, therefore, A is equal, and we want a small A, is equal to 
106 and we put in a degree. Let me see if I've got a degree here. Uh, where is my degree? Mm. There it is. Insert, close. Right, 106 degrees. So you would, um, that would be your working out. You would show me how you did that. Okay, and A would be your answer, 106 degrees. All right, now let's look at this one. If angle C, so let's find it, this one here, is equal to 41 degrees, name its alternate angle and state its value. Now, when we said alternate, let's look here. Remember that? The two guys underneath the bridge? One had the left-hand side of the freeway and one had the right-hand side of the freeway. They took alternate turns, okay? So, one is tucked under on this side of it and one is tucked. They're both in between the lines. So, we just have a look. Just have a look. So, there, here are, sh here are our straight lines. I'm, I'm recording myself. Just take, take it and go. Here are our straight lines. Here is our C. Now, he's on the left-hand side of the freeway. So, our F would be the other side of the freeway. Now, we know that alternate. They are exactly the same. They're both beggars. So, if angle C is equal to 41, name its alternate angle. Its alternate angle will be F and state its value. And its value should be 41 degrees. Let's see what it says. Yes, it's F. Oh, good. Mrs. Millard got it right for once. Okay. Let's go to the next one I wanted to show you. Finding alternate angles around a point. Now, you know all together this is 360 degrees, right? We know that this is 145 because they're telling us. We know that this is what? We know it's 90 degrees, exactly. So we can fill those in. Now they want to tell us, well, they want us to say what is A, what is B, and what is C. So we've got to think about what we've been taught so far. Come on, I just want a cursor there. Okay. So what have we been taught so far? We have been taught that if it's, um, well, we know that this here, okay, is 180 degrees. We know that those two are vertical. So if we can find out what C is, we'll know what B is. Well, C, if you look, and 145 degrees will equal 180. So because it's straight. Just give me a thing to draw on here, please. This is really irritating me. There you go. Okay, so we know 180 degrees. Take 145. Let's do it on my lovely old calculator. 180. Take 145. Let me just do that again. 180. Take 145. Is 35. So we know that C will be equal to 35. So we can go C, small c, C is equal to 35 degrees. Okay, always remember your degrees. Now, we know what C is. Now we can work out what B is because we know if they vertically opposite each other, head to head, that will be, so B will also be 35 degrees. We don't even have to work that one out, so that was pretty cool. Now, what would A be? Well, A, if you look at it, oh, no, I don't want that to go there. A, we know that that's 35. We know that that's 90. And we know that the whole thing has to be 180. So we say, okay, let's just move it down a little bit so we can see it. So we say, all right, um, 90 plus... We said B was 35. 35 is equal to, well, let's do that. 35 plus 90 will give you 125 degrees. Then we take 180 because we know that it's flat, okay? So we know that B and that and, and that um, square one will gives us 125. So we take 180, take away 25 is equal to 180. 55. And that will give you what C is. I mean, A is. So A is equal to 55 degrees and make it a small A. There you go. Done, done, done.